Hey, hey guys, Odie here, and welcome to part 11 of Dying Light 2. You know what we do? Let's just get right into it. I looked through my bag and I realized I did have some electrical parts, so... I feel like that means we can have an electric mod, maybe? Let's go to our inventory, and let's do it. Um, this one's... I think this one just kind of needs it. Yeah, I feel like we should probably just put it on this one. Right here. Oh, flame mod. Awesome. Let's put that on there. Upgrade that a bit. Will that repair it? No, that won't. Dang it. So taking it off. Oh, it only temporarily does it unless I could. Oh, that, that's bad. That's bad. Uh, I guess you're going on the axe. Modify. Come on. Hello. Are you not allowed to have mods on you? Modify. Oh, there we go. Oh, it does so much damage. 40 damage. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, um, look at that electrical axe. It's just oh, mwah, amazing. Oh, it's so good. So I'm thinking we look for the lady's scarf and then we'll get on with the main story. Finish the rest of our little side quests. Yep, this one. So let's just look for it. Looks easy enough. All we had to do is get a scarf off a roof or something like that. I can't remember. It just blew off, so I doubt it's going to be in a dark zone. I say that, but because I said that, it's probably in a dark zone, but hopefully not. And thank you guys so much for your support on the series. Just all the comments, all the everything. Oh, it makes me so happy. Was that not a thing I could do before? I don't remember the F thing. Is that because I can scurry faster? Pumpkins. Can I have pumpkins? All right. All right. We're going to do this real quick. We're going to get these guys. I need a good little fight in me for this. And I have enough healing. Oh, shoot. Are you guys up there? Oh, no, you're not. Uh oh. Hey, how's it going? Uh, you have... You need to go down. You have the alarm. There we go. Oh, my goodness. This axe is so strong. Oh, that's going to blow up. That's going to blow up. Oh, and it blew up. Ow! Don't do that. I'm sorry. Ow! Stop that. Okay, bandits defeated. That was easy enough. Hi, Zambi. Bye, Zambi. Oh, shoot. Does that mean zombies are coming this way? Yep, they heard it. Hey, how's it going, friend? Sorry. Oh, that was easy. Sorry. Wait, did I just one-shot that zombie? I'm so strong. Oh my goodness, I'm so strong. Bracelet? Infected trophies? I need more of those, so that's good. That's good. Hopefully we'll get more with the main story. Cordyceps? Okay, I'll take it. I'm not going to argue with... Okay. Oh, you had Legos. Awesome. It's so nice of you. Oh, 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 oh. Right here a little bit? Nope, this way a little bit. Easy. Right there on the money, 80 boy. Oh, I don't know what's happening. Camo breaches. Oh, I probably should have sold all my clothes, but I didn't. That's okay. Let's get back to... Oh, I like that block. That was a very assertive block you did there, Aiden. Are you sprinting towards me? We've talked about it. And it's not allowed. Let's climb on the roof. Let's not deal with more zombies right now. Yeah, I swear that wasn't there before. But this should give us some good XP. I think it's... I can't remember if we've already gone in there, but I know he lives on top of that. Oh! I think I know what we're doing. I know, I get distracted so much. But this game is just so much fun. And this is... Oh my goodness, I'm just so glad you guys said to do just what I find fun. And getting distracted and doing these fun things is so much fun. Having an overall plan is good, and I try to stick to that, but I still like doing the fun stuff. Oh. I take it the scarf's right there, but... Wait, is somebody following me? Oh, this is the one I tried doing, but I didn't have enough... Oh! Come on. Uh. 
Oh no! Okay, so I have to time this perfect. Alright, now it's going down. No, grab it! Come on, get up! Do I still not have enough for that? Ah, uh, dang it. Well, I guess that's not getting activated anytime soon. Where? Yeah, it's in there. It's in there. There you go. Be nice and loud, Aiden. They heard an explosion, but they didn't hear that. That's what matters. Haven't I already come up here? Damn. Aww. What? Why did you fall? Oh, it's up there. I'm probably just gonna have to climb all the way to the top. Maybe this is a different tower. It's a ladder. You can climb that. Don't worry about it, Aiden. Okay, climb up here. Jump up there instead of just climbing up for some reason. All right, climb up. You got this, boy. You got this, Aiden. Whatever that was, you did not have it. There you go. Jump right there. Jump right there. And it's gone again. Yep. Come on. Catch up to it. Who did? Let's go. Oh, come on. Wait, is it up here? Is there an inhibitor up here? I guess not. Can I climb up that? Easily, at least. Oh, I take stamina. Please, 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 please. Oh, I can rest up here. Amazing. Okay, this is easy then. There you go. Climb up there. Got it. Nice. Oh, this looks more like squirrel than mink. Probably is. Yeah, I better get to the bazaar and give this to Lola. All right, it's heal the time. Healy time. Let's give this to Lola. You have no idea how tempted I am just to jump. I feel like it would be... I feel like I can make that just fine. I don't think I'll die. Oh. That is my first death. And it was because of me. Respawn. Wow. Did I get rid of the stuff in my inventory? No? Okay, I don't know if I have a max inventory or... Oh, and it put me right here. Oh, another Hello, side I... quest. Hey, What's how's it going? going here? Hello, I'm Henkel. Hi, Henkel. This student here was curious about my lesson today. About when the guns were confiscated in Villador. <gasps> Will I get a gun? Afterwards. He wants to light a candle on the site of the March Massacre. The March Massacre? Yes. 64 people died that day. Gunned down like sitting ducks. If you want to know more, you should go and see for yourself. Oh. Why can't he? No one can leave the building while school is in session. Children shouldn't walk around the bazaar on their own. Hmm. I thought you'd be more worried about them falling into a dark zone. Oh, kids nowadays are too smart to fall into a silly hole. Anyway, could you light a candle for him, young man? You might learn something yourself. Sure, though I was pretty lousy at history. History is boring when someone tells you about it. It starts being fascinating when you can touch it. Touch it? Yes. Take this candle and go to the Monument of the World Art Congress. Or what's left of it. It's close by. Cool. Contact me when you get there. You'll see what my lesson was about today. Ooh, history lesson. Yay. Uh, we gotta see Lola first. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta talk to Lola first. Atomizer mattress. Awesome. Hi, Zambi. At least he's not a sprinting Zambi. I can just run right past. Where'd you go, Lola? Are you still singing on top of a building? 
I, no, I, I don't know. Oh, you're in the bazaar! Oh! Lola! Thank you! Here's your squirrel, I mean mink. Oh, there you are. Oh, you guys always chill in the right spot. Don't make me laugh. Oh, here you go. My precious mink! Oh, you are truly sent from above. Lola is complete once more. You deserve a reward. Do you wish Lola to reward you with a song? I already heard. I don't want any more. Um, no thanks. I, I really gotta be going. How sad. How I wish to serenade. I'm busy my with a history hero. lesson. You deserve a more proper reward. Than yeah. Anyway. I have time for that. Take this with Lola's deepest gratitude. <laughs> thanks. Is it Legos? Nice. Ooh, I love love my parkour. Yeah. Wait, what else did I get though? Oh, 250 coins. Nice. Well, we have. What's this? Increases the height from which you can land on taking. <laughs> that might be good. Jump instantly from an active landing. That seems pretty good. Make the last climb of ledges even when your stamina is gone. Briefly maintain your grip when you land ledges from great heights. What is it so? Temporarily increases your movement speed, which allows you to jump across wider gaps, uh, reach higher ledges, or longer on walls. Press shift while running. I always hold shift any... Actually, that was probably a bad idea then. That was actually probably a really bad idea then. Oh, I'm so fast. Oh, I'm so fast, but... I don't know what's up with this music, but it's pretty intense. Am I doing the history lesson now? Look, I actually know how to navigate the menus. How crazy is that? What is that? Survival's trinket. Sell for profit. Oh, I'm gonna make a profit. Oh! Yeah, it looks like I should probably get that instead. But I feel like the sprinting might be really good when it comes to zombies and jumping further and mmm, yummy scraps. Mmm. Slurp those up. Nice and oily right down the gullet. Oh, this is, this is an easy enough quest. I just have to play something. But then again, no quest is ever as easy as it seems. Where are you? 70 meters? I'm sorry. Oh, I've already been here before. This is where, I think it was where Marco was or something. Or it's just a nearly identical building, which is also probably something. Because, you know, we're in a city where it's pretty similarly made buildings. Come on. What are you doing? Aiden, you hurt my brain. Okay, awesome. And watch this. Sprint and jump! Oh my goodness, I jumped so hard. I jumped so far. I jumped so fast. Oh, I'm so... Over here? Oh, it's probably underground. Oh, shoot. Hi, zombies. I right, sprint now. So good. Oh, this is where that was. I could probably actually go back there again. Uh, oh, come on. It's... Oh, right. see you guys. Not much left of it. Good. Look closely. There is much more to it than meets the eye. There's a skeleton. Hey. Uh, how's it going? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Dang it! They saw me, zombie. I've got you now. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> You guys really want to keep doing- You guys really- Dude, I'm giving you a chance to leave. Just joking. Okay, see ya. I wasn't joking. Oh, yeah. You have scraps. I probably should go after your friend and see if he has scraps, too. Okay, investigate. It was like me investigate. 
Uh, there's a plaque here. Oof, a lot of names on it. Are those the victims of a massacre? Yes, 64 names. Things were starting to get pretty bad outside the walls around then. And the army needed more weapons. So they confiscated the civilians' weapons. Private ownership of any sort of firearm and its ammunition was forbidden thereafter. Oh. Who would have thunk it? Oh, investigate this. What happened here? That is where the riots started. People were terrified. How could they protect themselves and their families? There was massive unrest. So, a curfew was put in place. And homes were raided to ensure no one was hiding any weapons. Punishment for those who didn't comply was quite severe. Cool. That's great. Do I investigate this? Is there, Is there anything I can... A tree? Shots were fired. The army started shooting at people. Time wow. Okay. And of course, things only got worse. The riots escalated. It was the beginning of the end. So do I light this candle now? Light the candle. Okay. Where? Oh, I was already there. So you're saying that Pratt made a bad call, taking people's guns away? Hard to know for sure, but it didn't end well for anyone. In fact, the main irony <laughs> is that the army soon ran out of ammunition. And just like that, firearms became... Nobody's unfair. made bullets? At least, that's what's generally believed to have happened. Now, you'll hear some folks claim that Pratt kept a secret stash of ammunition somewhere in the city. Gun? But if so, he took that secret to the grave. So I guess we'll never really know. And that's the thing about history. We rarely ever really know. It's not a hard science. History is fragile as the passing of time. It takes the vigilance of people like myself to make sure it's not rewritten to suit the whim of each new generation's self-righteous fight. The duty of remembrance. Everyone should practice it. Farewell now, Pilgrim. I hope this little trip down memory lane has illuminated your path. Cool. So I did it? Did I get any XP? Oh yeah, Survivor's Trinket. That's right. I know what I'm doing though. I have to do this. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. I have to do this. I'm sorry. Let's see if I can craft Molo Toes. Nope, I need alcohol. That sucks. Anyways. Is there purples here though? Uh, is it worth it? There's no mullow toves. No, there's no purples. I want purples. All right, well, I guess we're going to go back to the bazaar. All right, it said there was an inhibitor right here as I was passing by it, so... I feel like we should go do that. Nightrunner's hideout? What? Wait, what? How would I know? Is there anything in here that would tell me? Okay. Maybe there's a little code thing. I don't know. I hope so. That would be cool. A nice little safe spot. It is a little safe spot. That's so cool. I don't think I'm repairing it. I think I'm just starting it. Ooh. I can just unlock random safe zones. Oh, what's this? Safe code? Oh, I can read those. I've been selling them. Oh, oh, oh boy. That's probably not good. Journal, maybe journal. Activities, challenges, no. Collectibles. Oh, I still have all my collectibles, I think. What is it? Where, 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 where? Safe code. 101. That's 
Easy. I want this. Come on. I love that it could even detect this. Where's zero? Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Where's one? There we go. 101. Ooh. Ooh. I can upgrade my stats. Do I want even more stamina? Yes. Oh, and it unlocks more stuff here. Stealth movement. Movement. Increase your overall speed while sneaking. Doesn't seem to work for me. Run through a group of enemies without losing momentum and lowering the damage you receive. Oh, it's so good. Run alongside. I can wall run. I'm getting that next. I can wall run. That's so good. Oh my goodness. And look, my sprint doesn't even take as much as it did before. I'm going to become a parkour master that can't parkour. That is the plan, at least. I hope I can fulfill that plan. Nothing's off. Nothing is off. I'm gone. I'm gone like the wind because I can parkour so fast. Well, ish. Compared to how I did before, I could parkour fast, at least. <gasps> Atomizer! Oh my goodness, I jumped so far! I thought I floated before, but just you wait. Now I can float like crazy. Oh, it's a bandit. Hey, how's it going, dude? Uh, I hope you know you're not nearly as... What? What are you... What are you doing? Sorry. Ooh. Do I have a combat point now? No. Okay. I found a med kit. Press H to use it. What? I'm not going to press H for that. I'm just going to use my bandages. Why would I want to use a med kit for that? That's just a waste. Game, why are you motivating me to waste my stuff? That's just rude. Well, I can't go right there. Can I climb this? Oh, I can. I dig the music. Come on. Jump up. What are you doing? Aiden, you hurt my brain. That's still quite a ways away, but at least I still have half the day. Forsaken. Oh, it's a night activity. Okay. Scavenge scrap parts. Craft parts, not scrap parts. If it was scraps, that'd be amazing. I'd be doing that in a heartbeat. Wait. Aww. This one was a waste. I can't go in that one. Oh, and I can... Oh, I'm a parkour master. Uh, is that the one I already did? It's super clear, so I assume that I've already done this one. Yeah. Maybe. Go to the main place. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I was working for Sophie. For some reason, I'm so used to seeing Hack on. Okay. Man. You're lucky I don't have any other side quests, Sophie. I see bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it. I knew those motherfuckers would betray us. Hey, how's it going? Fuck them, Aiden. Kill them all. Well, I, I can kill them, but I don't know about that first part. That's, uh... Not Aiden style. He prefers to just go off with spears. Um, bottle. Nice. Oh, there you guys are. I missed you. What? There's no intruder. But he's lying. You're the intruder. You guys are only level one. I made it. That was it. Survivors. Adam. Sure. I'll get right on that, but uh, I have a combat point. What is this? Perform a perfect block to stagger your enemy for longer. I'll trigger a slow mo effect. I feel like this is probably better. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really perfect block much, but. Oh, hey, do you have them? Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? Good. I don't it's like Carl. We, we must... Susie? 
Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Carl had them. Well, Sophie, sorry, I, I guess your crystals are gone. She's dead. I can't believe it. First birdie, now her. Damn. 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 There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. What is that? Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. Oh, it's you! Hey, guess what? I've already fought you before, buddy. What? The goon. Huge, ugly. Oh, that's what they're that's what they're called? Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Or just fight him. I'm sorry. I apologize. You weren't kidding, you are pretty slow. Oh, what? There's more zombies? That's not fair. You're cute. Looks like you can't get me up here, though. Oh! Oh! What? Get out of here! Okay, let's just, uh... Hold on, hold on, wait your turn, wait your turn, wait your turn. I'm taking out this goon. Shouldn't be too difficult. This isn't hard. Come on, goon. Hey, mister. Ow! Get out of here. I have an axe. I don't care about your mace. What do you have, goon? Haha, -ha, infected trophy. Alright, I gotta search these bodies then. There's probably gonna be a note that says, We got them. Hey. Haha! <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I guess I know I can do that with bricks now. Hey, guy. We had some rags. That's not what I needed. Oops. Oh, hey. Oh, look at you all sneaky in the bushes. Okay, well, you didn't have it. How about you? Do you have it? Nope. All right, I guess you're dead now. Hey, stop. Why is there so many zombies? Like, thanks for the combat XP. Like, you guys are pretty weak zombies, but still. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, you just got electrocuted. All right, goodbye. Nope. Sophie. Everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right. Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Sure. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. Cool. Awesome. Let's just do it. <gasps> in my pocket. In my pocket. Bees in my pocket. How's it going? Hack on, it's going great. Fuck, I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned, they took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious, but if you can do it, Ador will let us into the center. Oh, that's a nighttime thing. I'm not bothering with that. I can take... No, I'm not going to do that right now. Alright, let's do this. 
Hey guys, how's it going? Can I just fight you right away? Oh, hey. Hey, Herman. How's it going, Herman? Uh, where's Sophie? <sighs> hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> well, I guess that means I should wait here. Huh? Let's be friends, Herman. Let's talk. Is it gonna wait till nighttime? Is this gonna be a nighttime bandit raid? Wait, what? Oh, is this more hospital stuff? Oh boy. Great. I almost forgot that I had a sister. I just kinda wanna live by the ocean with Hakon. I forgot this is a thing. Oh, I can move forward. Follow the voice? Sure, let's go. I love this motion blur. Where? You're not really helping me out much. You should tell me what. Well, it's a good thing I have magical opening doors. Mia, where are you? I've been busy with side quests, Mia. I'm sorry. I'll get you, Mia. Here. Oh. Is it nighttime or daytime? Oh, it's nighttime. That's Jack great. Fucking Joe will pay for what they did. You need to wake me up. About it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. Well, what if I just left? Looks like that's exactly what you'd be doing. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. <laughs> it's one damn big child. <laughs> you don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. Has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died... He stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. Wow. He Herman's a badass. But lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. I'll remember that. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me or I'm watching over him. So you're telling me I can just go behind him and go poof. Uh, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney Side Kyle. quest. What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party, not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass, but we'll do something good for the city one day. There's already people doing that. Birdie, to your help. Dang. Why are you just staring at me like that? I gather you were close with Bertie. He tried to be a poet. Kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. <laughs> he was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was ten years old. Oh, That's pretty young. Too young. But he had no one else. So I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? 
Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. <laughs> Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Alberto. Here. Leave, oh. but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Of no. course, Aider. It's about saving your life. Right away, Aider. I'll tear them apart. I swear, I'll gut them. Real slow. You guys can't see me. I'm sneaky. Well, if I sprint. Oh, I made it. Oh, I'm the best. Oh, that's a howler. Come on, jump up this time. Jump up. Why are you this way, Aiden? I've seen you jump higher. Hi, Aider. I've heard everything. Let's talk. <laughs> what do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First, Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? You said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care See, of See, that's allies. why I like him. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be no careful. problem. I love you, Aider. Of course I will. Don't trust the people of the bazaar. They're more dangerous than they seem. I don't really know about that, but they're pretty rude. Oh god. Oh god. GRE anomaly? What? I think he's going down. I think that's what this is. Ooh! Jerry Anomaly is the layer of a powerful infected that corrupts the area and reanimates the dead around it. To face the Revenant, you need to enter the Jerry Anomaly location at night. After you defeat the Revenant, a nearby military container will open. You're a chump! Hey, you get back here. You're a chunk. Guess what? You got nothing on Aiden. Ow! Well, you got one hit on Aiden. Not like it matters, though. Oh, this is too easy. Too easy. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill your papa. Oh, it's okay. Am I hearing another zombie? Stop it, please. 
Thank you. Where's the big dude? I'm willing to bet he had some stuff on him. Big dude. Mr. Anomaly Man. Where are you at? Um, did his body just disintegrate? Ah, that's a possibility. But it's loot time. Let's open it. Loot the GRE chest? No problem. Come on, look. Aiden, you hurt me. You hurt my soul. Oh, man. Achievement, it wasn't that hard, was it? Well, actually, no. How many inhibitors? Two? Oh, yes. Nighttime bonus? Nice. Oh, let's, let's check these out. Let's open them all first, so you're not weird. There you go. Give me all this stuff. Nice. Anything else in here? Ooh, purple. Immunity booster. Perfect. Well, that seemed easy enough. Oh, it's already daytime. Wow. Would you look at that? There you go. Nice and easy. Alright, Sophie. So they didn't want me to... They didn't want them to see me leave, but nothing was said about me coming back. Oh my god. Oh, I lived. Hi, Zambi. Alright, do this weird jump. I don't know how you do it, but... Maybe it's because I'm... Personally, not quite as good... As Aiden at parkour, like you know, I'm still a parkour master, but well, it looks like Sophie's not here. I I better look must for must be in the flows better, think. Let's talk to him. Hey, have you seen Sophie? I'm I'm looking for. Oh, it's our brave fucking pilgrim. Been looking for you. Drink up. Cheers. Uh, my throat's sore. Don't want you to catch anything. I don't I'm drink like that. Fucking touchable. The nastiest plagues can kiss my fucking ass. Hey, did you get your radio checked by that dumbass Alberto? <laughs> that kook can't ever finish a sentence he starts. <laughs> Must have a brain made of Swiss <laughs> cheese. Show some respect, Humphrey. Alberto's a genius with weapons and armor. What's your big skill? Farting into a harmonica and calling him music? Dude, that's an awesome skill. Hey, you mangy pricks. Say your prayers. Barney's coming. And he's gonna kick your dairy ears. Okay. Good job. I'll find it here. Oh. Hi, Herman. I'm looking for Sophie. Where'd she go? Said she had important business to attend to. But you can wait here with us. If you came to find out if I have a boyfriend, I don't. <laughs> Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. Well, there's Herman if you right think there. I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind too. Fine. What brings you? You take care of Barney today. That guy is like a neon sign that reads "Big Trouble." Right. Herman. Herman, it's better for the world when you're quiet. Say your prayers. <laughs> One thing. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes. She went. She said. The, uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait! There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with... Uh, uh, not working with... Uh, it's broken. That... Uh, oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Uh, can I... Ask you a question. Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. 
I'm willing to bet that they're... Oh. How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find <laughs> the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids because of those fucking tests. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But, not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. All right, how far away would Sophie be? Oh, you showed up. I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your help! I love you. What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. 
Awesome. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. No. Did you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. Sure. Wow. I'm not I guess it's know. time to raid. All right, guys, that was it for this episode of Dying Light 2. I really hope you guys enjoyed. So we got the side quests out of the way. Got a history lesson. Found a scarf. And now we're about to raid some bandits. But we're in this for Aider because he's actually looking out for us big time. I really like that guy. He's a good guy. Awesome guy. Very Chad of a man. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed. Seriously, link in the description below. And if you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and see ya.